Now, bladder cancer is one of the common cancers, actually. It's one of the top 10 cancers. The most common variant when we see it under a microscope is called classic variant or transitional variant urothelial carcinoma. But however, there are various histological subtypes. In fact, there are about 25% patients who present with different subtypes. So one of them is sarcomatoid, which is rare, but unfortunately with an aggressive behavior. So they have the features of both epithelial and mesenchymal differentiation, and also they are known to have promoter tert mutations, tert promoter mutations, which actually predict a feature of aggressive behavior. So they're both different in terms of morphology as well as molecularly, the molecular drivers that cause these cancers to progress and spread. Very good question. You know, there are so many nuances in the sense, um, yes, it is being a rare histology, you know, the, 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 the treatment paradigm is unclear. For classic urothelial cancer, what we generally offer is uh, for patients who have muscle invasive bladder cancer, we offer them neoadjuvant cisplatin based chemotherapy and after about three to four cycles of treatment, we pursue with surgery. And this has set a benchmark and is uh, category one in various evidence based uh, guidelines lines as the best treatment strategy for our patients. Now, uh, having said that, most of the studies that evaluated these chemotherapy regimens were for classic variant, whereas for sarcomatoid, these, uh, these patients were actually not included. Any patient who has a pure sarcomatoid or predominant sarcomatoid were excluded from the studies. So having said that, we don't have any real clinical trial driven answers to risk you know, provide a treatment paradigm, that is one thing. So the use of chemotherapy or surgery has not been clear. At the same time, these patients tend to be presenting at a little bit higher stage. So that is another factor where uh, we see being histologically different, molecularly different, presenting at a higher stage and being at a rare uh, uh, scenario. So the treatment paradigms are not clear and that is one of the major factors why these patients tend to have inferior outcome. And as a matter of fact, uh, in our study we did find that patients with sarcomatoid histology who just go for surgery, they actually had the worst outcomes compared to the patients who have classic urothelial who go for surgery alone. But the additional important finding in our study was when these patients received chemotherapy, either mostly neoadjuvantly and few patients with adjuvant chemotherapy, that indeed helped them. They had better survival. So at the major takeaway, what we have from this particular study which we have run is there is added value for chemotherapy even in this rare histological subtypes. Obviously there will be so many other nuances based on if the patients are eligible for platinum based chemotherapy, what, you know, what other contraindications they have. But in general, if there is a patient who is a surgical candidate and eligible to receive platinum based chemotherapy, this gives us some more evidence to consider this for this patient population. Yes, you know, very important, you know, this definitely helps um, uh, to address one important question that there is benefit of chemotherapy to add to this patient population in addition to surgery. But still, there are a lot of unmet needs, you know, uh, there is a lot of evidence in uh, other cancers with sarcomatoid variant that there is benefit of adding immunotherapy as a treatment paradigm. So in order to improve the outcomes, if there is a benefit of immunotherapy or other new novel drugs that have been coming up in bladder cancer, for example, and Fortimab vedotin, which is an antibody drug conjugate, chemo conjugate, you know, those are additional uh, options. So there are definitely a lot of unmet needs. We have to improve the uh, response rate to chemotherapy by adding the immunotherapy or using novel agents. The other important aspect is trying to define the disease molecularly to identify the common mutations that can happen so that we can use molecular targets for these drugs. So that way, these, these two seems to be a un high unmet need. And obviously, given the rarity of the nature, you know, conducting a big clinical trial will not be possible. So small institutional efforts to collaborate multi, you know, with cooperative groups would be the key to go.
Sure, I mean, pretty much, you know, it's a, you know, it's a critical point. It, I, in my opinion, this particular study which we have uh, the results from, you know, gives a practicing clinician to help uh, fine tune, you know, to discuss further with their patients to see if there is a benefit of chemotherapy and offer it to the patients if they feel, if they are appropriate.